Dr. Plort, talk about the chemicals that are in the sunscreens that we use and how those affect either humans or the environment around us and what, why are those chemicals dangerous? So there's several types of chemicals. The first chemicals that were being used are what's called UVB sunscreens. They block out the UVB layer, uh, uh, the, the solar rays that are coming through, and they hit the epidermal layer of the skin. And that's what causes the, sun, the sunburn. And so that's what the original sunscreens were for, to block that sunburn. The problem is that they encourage people to stay in the, in the, the uh, sun many times longer and there's also UVA and there's also infrared radiation and so those things were coming down and causing more damage, actually increasing skin cancer, increasing melanoma. Both of those have definitely increased since the use of sunscreen and they continue to increase. And so those chemicals uh, for the UVA and UVB are what they act as hormones. They, they act as estrogens, anti-estrogens, they act as androgens or a testosterone, and they act as anti-testosterone. So if you have an uh, animal, us and mice and rats, mm -hmm. uh, that have those in their system and they need to be balanced correctly, they're very impacted when those sunscreen chemicals get into their system. So the other thing that they've used is titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. And those are fine in their opaque form. The, when they're thick and in their what, what's called parent or bulk form, but they're the white thick lifeguard nose. Sure. Right. And so people don't want to look like that. So what they did to avoid that is they brought them down to nano sizes. And so actually it's less than 100 nanometers in size. So these are very, very tiny. And they were approved by the FDA because they figured, well, the titanium dioxide and zinc oxide are non-toxic, so bringing them down to nano size shouldn't make any difference. The problem is it makes a huge difference. They're very different. They react very differently. And they're so tiny, they can go through the cell membrane, they can go through the cell nuclear membrane, and they get deposited there, and they can actually cause pathological lesions. The other thing is they're so small, they get to the protective blood-brain barrier that's supposed mm -hmm. to keep out toxic materials. It does not, and it actually kills brain cells.